Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the highlights of the ROM 2.0 live special last night. The ROM developers presented to the community their plans for the future of the game, which includes a graphics overhaul, new classes, battle system optimization, and a lot more. Hopefully, this will bring more hype to the game that we love. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have a comprehensive graphics update which brings a huge visual upgrade to the in-game environment. The art upgrade includes Pantera South, Islet Island, Guild Territory, and even instances like Endless Tower and Oracle Dungeon. It really feels like a brand new game with a fresh and cleaner look. In addition, character models and fashion items are also aesthetically enhanced. They kept all the popular elements from the previous classic designs and made it a lot better visually. Even the style of gacha costume and headwear were adjusted to fit the character's new body ratio. In the future, the UI and skill effects will also be redesigned. Up next, we have the new main storyline called The Intrigue of the Seven Royals. This new story quest will introduce the new Prantera Palace main city map, the new Royal Hunting Ground gameplay map, and the new Sword Steel Grove system. This will help uncover the truth buried by the mystery surrounding the Seven Royals. Up next, we have a new class joining in this update, called Soul Binder. They come with strong damage output as well as unique support abilities. Up next, we have a new instance in Komodo called Lost Isle. This is similar to Museum Island and clearing it will bring new ancient gears for garment, footgear, and accessories. Up next, we have some battle system and class optimization in a future update. First is the creation of original hero classes wherein you can play as Midgard's famous mentors such as Rune Master Thanatos and Valkyrie Ref Greasy. There's no details yet regarding this, but I think the mechanics will be similar to champions in MOBA games. Second is the revamp of class skills, which will reduce the need to spend too much time and resources in optimizing character builds. There will only be 6 core skills for each class, so timing a skills activation will be more important. There will also be unique combat synergy for different classes in small-scale PvP, so that the focus will be more on team roles. Third is value compression wherein damage and HP numbers will be reduced but the calculation and formulas will remain the same. In short, there won't be any difference in gameplay and it will just help with optimizing battle performance and rendering in large-scale PvP battles. And fourth, the GVG gameplay will be revamped. No details were given yet since they're still in a gameplay debugging phase. With these adjustments, the developers are confident that the game experience will be enhanced. Up next, the developers have hinted that they'll give players more freedom to do everything. Some examples they gave were exploring Islud's underwater world, riding mounts through the skies, and even cutting down trees to build houses. This will surely bring fresh experience to everyone. Up next, the devs promise that more PvP livestreams and tournaments will be done in the near future for the 6v6 and Holy Ground War mode. Other PvP features are also in the works like creation of private rooms for matches, class-specific PvP mode, and even a cross-server competitive mode. The first ever ROM Global Tournament will most likely be held next year with a prize pool of 150,000 USD. It will be live streamed globally so we can watch the top teams from different countries compete. And lastly, more collaboration events are coming next year. Two Japanese anime characters will be coming to Midgard and these will be the new collab classes for Gunslinger and Monk classes. The only clues given were one powers forward with his almighty iron body and soul of righteousness and the other one has paid a dear price for an incredible power. Let me know your guesses in the comment section below. Furthermore, there are also plans of bringing back past collaboration classes like Ronin, Wataru, and Slayers so that more players get to experience it. 
Alright, that's it for our quick summary of the ROM 2.0 live special last night. I'm really hoping that the developers live up to the expectations that they'll constantly bring bigger and better content to ROM Eternal Love into the next 5 years and beyond. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.